Hello, my name is Jeremy Levy and I'm a consultant nephrologist, it's a kidney specialist and I work at Imperial College Healthcare. And I look after a lot of patients with kidney diseases of all sorts. So most people with early CKD have very few symptoms and if you're at all concerned you might have this and it's important to go to your GP to get a blood and urine test to make a diagnosis. So what causes chronic kidney disease? Well, for most people, it's caused by something else. And usually that's diabetes, high blood pressure, or high cholesterol. In diabetes, high blood sugar or blood glucose makes the filtering units in the kidney get blocked up and work less well, and also affects the blood vessels. In high blood pressure or people with high cholesterol, again, the blood vessels in the kidney tend to get narrowed and furred up, which makes the kidneys less good at getting rid of waste products. There are also other conditions, and much more rarely, some inflammatory diseases where there is inflammation in the kidney, sometimes called glomerulonephritis, can also attack the kidneys and cause chronic kidney disease. And there's one actually very common inherited disease called polycystic kidney disease, which can cause chronic kidney disease and slowly progressive damage. And that's actually quite common in England and many other countries around the world. Up to 10% of people may have this disease, polycystic kidney disease, causing their CKD. Blockages in the kidney, for example, caused by kidney stones, can also lead to CKD, but this is more unusual. And finally, long-term use of some medicines can lead to slowly progressive chronic damage. Medicines such as lithium or long-term use of anti-inflammatory painkillers, sometimes ibuprofen or neurofen, but you have to be taking these for a long time. And if you need them for other conditions, should have regular blood tests done by your GP or other specialist. Chronic kidney disease is diagnosed by a blood test. And the critical blood test is called a creatinine and sometimes a GFR, and almost always needs a urine test at the same time, particularly to look for blood or protein in the urine. The GFR number tells us roughly the percentage of kidney function. Very bad kidneys, stage five CKD, is when the GFR number is less than 15, which roughly to translates to 15% kidney function. As I said, this is not the commonest form. Most people with CKD have CKD stage three, and that's when the kidney function, this GFR number, is between 30 and 60, representing about 30 to 60% kidney function. And stage four is when the kidneys are working between 15 and 30. So the GFR number, really important number to monitor your kidney function and the tests that a doctor will do to see if you have CKD. All people with other conditions that can lead to kidney damage, such as diabetes and high blood pressure, should be having their kidney function monitored by a blood and urine test intermittently. Now this might be once a year, but if you already have kidney disease, it might be every six months but there is no way of monitoring kidneys without the blood and urine test. I hope this has been helpful.